So we're in for a new version of our top five selection and we're doing it with Elizabeth Durr, Editor-in-Chief of Quill and Pad and we're going to do a special ladies selection. So let's go with your first pick. Okay, good morning Matt. And this is an unusual one for me to do top five ladies, but I think it's, this is a good year for it because there's a lot of really nice things out there. And we'll start with the Boguet La Tradition for ladies. I think that's an, a wonderful addition to their line. Um, taking such a technical watch, putting a few jewels on it, and really making that finish sparkle, make it really beautiful, catching the lady's eye, bringing it down to the right size. Way to make a really technical watch perfect for, for a woman who loves haute horlogerie. Completely agree and I'm really looking forward to seeing a, a woman with that watch on her wrist. Uh, it's going to be quite something. <laughs> so number two pick. Oh, this was a hard one. I had to pick one from Fabergé because their ladies collection this year is so stupendous. Of course, we couldn't take the peacock again because we've already had that. But there's a new watch called the Lady Altruist. And it's also got a, a movement by Agenor in it. So it's really highly complicated, beautifully made, customized for Fabergé. And um, the, the big thing is this beautiful customization that you can do on the dial. So there's a, a new technique they've discovered, how to use um, metal over sapphire crystal, and they can make a very small pattern right in the middle of the dial that's only visible if you really, really look at it. Right now, the one they're showing has a little man in the moon on it, and you can really only see it if you look very, very closely. And I was just captivated by it. Yeah, very elegant and with the mechanical um, uh, strength in it. So, okay, so number third. Um, very surprisingly, I was really captivated also by De Grisogono. Last year I saw a watch they had designed called the Retro, and it was very retro looking, uh, looked like an old jukebox actually. This year they, they redesigned the dimensions a little bit, added their typical jewels, which I'm not usually a massive fan of, but in this case they did it in such a way, they made that watch so beautiful and perfect for the feminine wrist. Has that retro look, but it's really new looking at the same time. It's not, not inspired by something from the past, but it looks like it could have come from the past. So I was really captivated by it, it was beautiful. And it's a kind of a unisex watch because I mean the man version, I, I like it a lot. I mean it's very original, but uh, with this lady like um, finishing and all those uh, sapphire, emerald, uh, diamond finish, it's really quite something. Uh. So fourth pick. And number four comes from Chopin. It's the Luc Esprit de Fleurier Peony. <laughs> Tough one to say. Um, what sounds like a mouthful is actually an extremely beautiful watch. On the front we have a mother of pearl engraving of a peony flower with diamonds, but it's the back that really got me. And when I turn it over, it's this beautiful florisan engraving on the Luke movement. Um, stupendous, stupendous, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, number five? Number five was another one that caught my eye for its um, its transparency, really. Um, it comes from Bulgari. It's a, the brand new Serpenti Incantati, which is the redesigned Serpenti in the round case, um, with just the barest hint of a tail that comes down off of the case toward the strap. But this tourbillon is basically the tourbillon lumière from uh, from Bulgari. It's beautifully transparent, skeletonized. In this case, with the, just the right amount of jewels, it's it's really really beautiful. I, for someone who loves mechanics, it's it's the right thing. And I know we can't do this because it's a top five, but I'm going to put a special mention out there for the Fiona Kruger Petite Skull. Um, Fiona has done a fantastic job with her skull watches, but they've been a little biggish this far. She's, a, she's an independent designer um, who kind of hangs around with the independent watchmakers. She's learned a lot from them, I have to say, because this, in, this new skull shows that she's really paid attention to what she's doing. She's learned from Kari and Peter Speak Marine and a few other uh, really established watch watchmakers in the independent scene that she's known for a while. And she's taken that and made it her own. Really, this little petite skull is the dial finishing, the, the new hands, the redesigned crown, and the smaller size really make it a beautiful, unique piece. Definitely a very original watch. So thank you very much, Beth, for this, uh, for your selection. And uh, I hope you have a nice end of this fair. Thank you as well. Thank you. <laughs> See you.